Thanks to the smash global success of the hit Netflix show, The Crown, lots of us have had reason to think about the secretive and lavish lives of royal members of society around the world. Now it's the inevitable question, which royals are the wealthiest in the world? As it turns out, Thailand's King Wachi Ralan Khan secures the number one spot this year. You, along with many around the world, may not have known about this monarch's ridiculous wealth. King Wachi Ralan Khan is currently the richest of all royals in the world, with an estimated net worth of between 30 and 40 billion dollars. Before we take a look at the extravagant lifestyle of the Thai king, let's add some context by taking a look at how the monarch came to power. The Kingdom of Thailand is currently under the Chakri dynasty, who has ruled since the founding of Bangkok in 1782, which replaced the city of Thonburi as the capital of Siam, which was later renamed to Thailand in 1939. While the government has gone through many changes in power since the constitutional monarchy was established, the Chakri dynasty has remained constant. In 1972, at the age of 20, he was made crown prince by his father. After his father's death on 13 October 2016, he was expected to ascend the throne of Thailand, but asked for some time to mourn before taking the throne. Three years later, at the age of 64, Wachi Ralan Khan became the oldest Thai monarch to ascend the throne. Queen Sathita, King Wachi Ralan Khan's fourth wife and consort, has mothered three children to the king, two daughters, Princess Barjataki Yaba, Princess Siravanavari, and one son, Prince Dipin Khan Razmajodi. He is the king's fifth and youngest son, but is assumed to be the next king of Thailand, as the king's four older sons from his previous marriage have been disowned by him, and they're no longer considered members of the royal family. In 2018, King Wachi Ralan Khan made the controversial move of transferring the estimated 30 to 40 billion dollars in wealth owned by the crown to himself. This solidified his spot as the wealthiest member of royalty in the world. Between the thousands of acres of prime real estate in Bangkok and all around the world, the investments in some of Thailand's largest corporations, and the large fleet of vehicles, planes, and other means of transportation reserved for His Majesty, Thailand's laws make it quite conveniently illegal to question the king and how he may spend his money. So many aspects of his vast fortune are unknown to the public, but what we do know is still nonetheless impressive. It's estimated the crown owns around 16,000 acres of land and holds over 40,000 rental contracts around the globe. There are 38 planes and helicopters reserved for royal use and available at any time. The royal fleet alone is enough to make any car fan drool. The king typically travels in a Maybach 62 limousine, which is ultra luxurious and has all state-of-the-art electronics. The interior is fitted with Napa leather. His convoy is escorted by Mercedes-Benz S-Class W220s and BMW 5 Series police cars, so even the police travel in extreme style. If the king ever wants to switch it up, he's got a wide array of limos to choose from including the Rolls-Royce Phantom 6, the Rolls-Royce Silver Spur, Rolls-Royce Silver Spur Park Word version, Lexus LS460L, and Cadillac DTS stretch limos. Perhaps one of the most important pieces in the King's collection, however, is the Rolls-Royce Carniche, which has been customized specifically for the King into a convertible and is typically used for ceremonial appearances. Apart from this, the King, who regularly resides in Europe, now owns a mansion on Lake Starnberg in the former fishing village of Tutsing. According to German publication Zudach Zeitung, the then crown prince bought the Villa Stolberg, a park-like property away from prying eyes, for 12 million euros. Equipped with a lush garden, access to the lake via a private dock, and 5,600 square meters of roving estate grants. Safe to say the king's property investment could be a key reason why he so regularly resides in Germany. One thing you would expect from royalty, however, is an extraordinary collection of crown jewels, and Thailand's may be the most impressive there is. Amongst the collection is the Golden Jubilee Diamond. At an astounding 546 carats, the brown diamond is the largest cut and polished diamond on the planet. The value of the diamond is estimated to be between $4 and $12 million, but would likely fetch even more if taken to auction, as it's associated with Thai royalty, adding to its value. King Wachi Ralan Khan also has a great love for dogs, and has been known to travel internationally with a pack of 30 poodles. In fact, 
He loved one of his poodles so much that he held a four day long traditional Buddhist funeral for one when it passed away. In yet another controversial financial move, the King of Thailand isn't facing down COVID by staying locked up alone in his house like the rest of us. The monarch has rented out a four star luxury hotel in the Bavarian Alps, and he's brought 20 women from his special military unit along with him. And we're unsure at this time if his wife is accompanying him as well. A title held by one of his military escorts is Beautiful One Who Remains Loyal to the King. He also has countless servants and staff present to cater to his every need. King Wachi Ralan Khan isn't at any risk of running out of money anytime soon either. With the transfer of assets from the crown to the king, he acquired a 33% stake in Thailand's largest industrial conglomerate, the Siam Cement Group, which is valued at roughly $9 billion. In addition, he holds a 23% stake in Siam Commercial Bank, which is the second largest money lender in the entire country. Now, not all of the monarch's assets have been dedicated to traveling in style and luxury, however. According to NationThailand.com, the king has declared his resolution to fulfill the wishes of His Majesty the late King Rama IX and work for the benefit of all Thais. These include water resources developments, public health care for the underprivileged, the royal initiatives on education, and the royal project We Do Good from the Heart. Curiously, however, all of these projects were started by the king's late father. There's no evidence to support that he's actually acted on any of those promises. Although shrouded in mystery and surrounded by controversy, the king of Thailand is undoubtedly the wealthiest member of royalty in the world. It only takes a quick glance at his lavish playboy lifestyle to see he's not afraid to throw around some cash. 